In this video, we're going to go through the parts of a compound light microscope. It's called the compound light microscope. Compound because it's always going to use two lenses at once. You're always going to be looking through this lens called the eyepiece lens or the ocular lens. And you'll always also be using one of these three objective lenses. It's called the light microscope because light is used to shine through the specimen to produce the image. Let's go through some of the basic parts of this microscope. As we said before, this is the eyepiece. There is a lens in there and written on this part it says 10x. That means this eyepiece will magnify specimens 10 times all by itself. Think of it as a, a magnifying glass. Attached to this lens is a body tube, which just allows light to pass through it. That light comes from this portion here called the revolving nose piece. I can turn this to select different objective lenses. On our microscopes, we have three different objective lenses. This small one here with the red band is called our scanning objective lens. That first number there is a four, and that means that will magnify all by itself four times. The next lens is called our low power lens. It has this yellow band on it, and all by itself it will magnify ten times. Finally is our high power lens, which has this blue band on it, and that will magnify forty times. Now when using one of these three objective lenses, you're always, all, you're always using the eyepiece lens at the same time and the two lenses multiply off of each other. What's meant by that is if we use that red banded scanning objective it will magnify four times on its own. We don't use it on its own. So it's four times the ten of the eyepiece. When you're using this red objective lens you are seeing things forty times as large as they would appear with the unaided eye. The same is true of the low power lens. When using it, it will, ma it will magnify 10 times together with the 10 times of the eyepiece lens means that you're magnifying 100 times as large. And the high power, the rule is the same. We get 40 times magnification with that multiplied by the 10 times of the eyepiece lens. We get a total magnification of 400 times uh, compared to the unaided eye. When moving this revolving nose piece, you will feel those objectives click into place. You can hear it as well. When they click, you know that you actually have that one selected. Underneath the objective lenses is the stage. The stage is where you place your slide. The portion of the slide that you wish to see has to go over the opening in the stage. And there are two stage clips that can help to hold your slide into place. We typically aren't going to use these because many times we're going to be looking around on a slide. So I just turn these around backward. Uh, you're not going to be moving your microscope when using it. So your slide isn't going to be moving around on you. Underneath the stage is this. This is called the diaphragm. And you can see right here is the opening uh, on the stage. As you move this diaphragm, it allows different amounts of light to pass through it to then pass through your specimen. A lot of students think that more light is always better. That's not always the case. More light can sometimes have you lose the fine details in an image. So as you're focusing, move this too and that will help you to get better contrast as you're trying to view a specimen. Underneath the stage and underneath the diaphragm we have the light. Some have a fluorescent light which take a second to turn on and that's where the light in the light microscope comes from. Underneath that is the base of the microscope. Whenever you hold a microscope you hold it by one hand underneath the base and one hand holds this portion here which is called the arm of the microscope. Finally we have these knobs. The larger knob, sometimes this is a separate knob, sometimes it's the outer knob. This is called the course adjustment knob. And as you can see, that causes the stage to move up and down. Nested inside of that is this fine focus adjustment knob. 
That does the same thing the chorus does, but in much smaller increments. Sometimes the fine focus knob is a separate knob on some of the microscopes. And there you have it. Those are the parts of the compound light microscope.